If more people knew what I'm about to tell you, I think there'd be less stress around aging. And that is that memory loss is not a normal part of aging. Memory loss is not a normal part of aging. Forgetting is, but forgetting is a part of life. We forget all of our lives. We forget why we came into a room. We forget someone's name, normal. And have you ever watched teenagers or kids and they run around and they forget all the time, but we don't run after them and say, mm, you're forgetting, you must be getting old. But when we get up in years and we forget in front of someone else, those someone else's, namely our loved ones, sometimes can get worried. Uh-oh, mom's forgetting, she's forgetting more. We have to be careful though, because there's a difference between forgetting everyday things like why I came into the room, and we sometimes call those senior moments, but they're all of our moments. They're 50 something moments. We forget, brief, and then all of a sudden we remember. What I'm talking about is memory loss. Like you don't remember, you don't have that rote memory about how to make a pot of coffee when you've made pots of coffee your whole life. You don't remember the steps, the process. That's when we have to start worrying. That's when there's a concern. When our memories aren't serving us to do the routine things that we've done our whole lives without problem, without prompts. That's when we have issues. We can no longer count money out, whereas we used to be able to do that. We can't put an outfit together, where we used to be able to do that. We can't determine that we need a winter jacket in the middle of winter. That's when we have issues. That's when it's time to see a doctor, preferably a neurologist. But memory loss in and of itself is not a normal part of aging. Dementia is not a normal part of aging. Dementia doesn't come to us just because we get older. Dementia needs a disease. It needs a disease because dementia describes symptoms like memory loss, like not being able to process things that you are used to being able to do, like not being having the right judgment in public. So you can't just get dementia out of the blue and you don't get it just because you turn 70, 75, 80, 90, 60. You need to have a disease and that disease needs to be diagnosed by a doctor. Again, preferably a, a neurologist. So stay tuned because my goal is to help provide tips and education and uh, ways that you can control some of your own mental health. And I'm talking your brain power because there are things you can do. And I'll continue sharing tips with you so that aging, this journey that we're all on, can be something that we enjoy rather than fear.